Today is part two of building this 3D printed RC speed car. In the last video, we completely redesigned the car and in today's video, we're gonna be heavily modifying the car with a lot more power and some super high quality 3D printed parts. So this is my fully 3D printable RC car, which I designed myself. However, 3D printing can get very expensive, especially if you'd like a decent machine, which is gonna come in handy for printing large parts such as these body shell pieces or super accurate parts such as this rear gearbox. However, that is where JLC 3DP comes into place. If you head over to their website, it's super easy to make an order. There are loads of options for 3D printing, CNC machining, and more. All you need to do is upload some 3D files, select what material you'd like, give a brief description, and then there are plenty of shipping options depending on the product size and of course your budget. And then your item will be shipped straight to your door. And let me tell you guys, I am blown away by the quality of these parts. The finish on them is just absolutely incredible. All the measurements are millimeter perfect and it just feels like it's really, really high quality. So a massive thank you to JLC3DP for sponsoring this video. And if you want to get some parts yourself, there'll be a link in the description. So as well as super high quality materials, we're also going to be using an 8mm shaft to replace the 5mm one which was in here before. Reason being is that these hexes here have an 8mm bore and before using the 5mm shaft it was a bit tricky with trying to find and make sleeves and then the wheels were all wobbly and they all slipped off and plus that spool which was in there before wasn't the best quality so it all kind of just fell apart. Now although this is going to be a lot stronger, we do have a bit of an issue which is that the crown wheel we're using only has a 5mm bore and I can't find any spools which will fit an 8mm shaft for these type of diffs anyway. So for the time being we're in a bit of a sticky situation but let's not worry about it for now, let's get this all on the chassis and then we can have a look at this in a bit. Okay, so it's been a few months and I leave for Yes Mate Speed event tomorrow and the car's still not finished. Let's have a little look. Over the last couple of days, I've been working on the car off of camera because we've been a bit pressured for time. So let me just run you through what we've done. I've gone ahead and fit a battery strap over both batteries using these Scorch Parts uh, battery buckles because one of the rules is we need both Velcro on the batteries and a strap. I've also gone ahead and come up with a new body mounting system. We've got four pieces on each corner. These are actually going to give the body a lot more support as well as the four screws which we had in the back before. And it's also going to make the chassis a lot more rigid as well. We've got quite a bit more weight in this car. If we come around the back, I've managed to find a solution for this rear spool. So I had to ditch the eight mil shaft idea because although I managed to find this eight mil spur gear adapter here, none of these holes would line up with the crown wheel. And there was no way that I was going to be able to drill through this hardened steel, trust me. The cobalt bits I bought even, and using a pillar drill, I could not get through this. So, I had to ditch this idea, and I've had to go back to the 5mm shaft, but this time what I've done is I've bought a Scorch Parts spool, so it's got two grub screws on there to really make sure it locks solid on the shaft, and I managed to find some proper uh, 8mm to 5mm pinion shaft adapters. So those are what's holding these hexes on. So now everything on this rear gearbox should be absolutely bulletproof. So we only have a couple more changes to make to the car before the event. The first one being a better servo. So we've got this perfect pass one here and we've also got perfect pass launch control. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this car is probably gonna need that more than I need both of my lungs because without electrics, this car probably weighs about a kilo, maybe less than that. 
and we've just gone ahead and given it 20 horsepower. Uh, I'll let you do the maths on that power to weight ratio, but to even have a chance of getting a good run out of this, we are going to need perfect pass. And there we have it, the car is now officially complete. So let's take it down to the runway and hopefully we have a good weekend. So, unfortunately, last day of the event and we're finally ready to give this car a run. We've been battling with the VT2 and it didn't exactly go to plan. You'll see, be seeing that in the video. This car, we're all ready to go now. Packs are all charged up, so let's get him plugged in and hopefully get a good run. Got your GPS read in. When you do a custom build, it's completely difficult to guess what's going to happen. Yeah. But anything could happen. It could take off, it could spin out, it could do 200, it could blow up, anything could happen. I think as long as it just stays together, then yeah. I'll be pretty chuffed. Yeah, yeah. Well, anything could happen. It could be amazing or it could be epic fail. Who knows? You gonna put a boost on it today or are you done? Oh, 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 oh. Oh! <laughs> maybe the front's pushing it down again like it did last time. Well, maybe, I don't know. Oh, that was still spinning. Maybe way too much power? 30. 47! <laughs> for proof of contact, cocktail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contact, it's not awful. Yeah. Oh. That one's still. Oh, no, look. Yeah, wheel hubs. Diff's held up? Diff held up, yeah. Well, that's a positive because last time the diff blew up. Maybe this is why it was all over the place. Maybe. Is this one wheel drive? Okay, it's been a few weeks and we've come down to this road here. We've got some new longer screws on the back hexes to keep these wheels on nice and tight. So GPS is set and we're ready for a run. So first I just wanted to make sure that the car was tracking straight and that it seemed all right. So it was pulling fairly straight. The brakes did seem a little bit strong and it did sound like that we were getting a little bit of gear slip. But once we got up to speed, it was okay until we hit the brakes and this happened. This really was the last thing I was hoping for quite a big impact the body is trashed and we didn't really even get a high speed so a bit of a disappointment <sighs> what a shame <sighs> i don't really know what to say guys this challenge is definitely very very tricky and i'm not sure if it's possible but we're not going to give up yet let's have a little review so obviously that impact was far from ideal i mean the body shell is completely trashed front and rear i guess that was kind of going to happen regardless of the 3d printed material the car itself though is in fine condition apart from this pinion gear here but i think that's because look we've actually got quite a bit of flex in the chassis i don't know if you can see that but there is flex in the chassis which is causing these gears to separate so that's probably why they came apart and probably what the gear slip was because the rear diff itself is actually still meshed absolutely perfectly in terms of stability i think the lack of caster angle at the front is playing a big part in it so if you look at like the armor and herbeo cars the front hubs are tilted slightly backwards and i think that's what helps keep the cars pulling a straight line on here everything is straight so i think if we add some front caster uh, to this front bar it here that might solve the issues but still i think i didn't really help myself with giving it this much power 
it, it is a little bit out of proportion. I think maybe this car would be suited better with maybe a 4S car or maybe 6S out of push. I don't know. There is plenty to play around with, but we are still very far from getting serious speeds out of it. Now, in terms of the 3D printed parts made by JLC 3DP, they have performed much better than expected. I mean, yes, the body shell did break, but like I said, that would have broken regardless of what the material was. But this rear bulkhead has been absolutely perfect. All the bearings fit perfectly. It's still meshed absolutely perfectly and it just is a very very high quality piece of kit and for the price of what it is as well you really can't go wrong you may be wondering about this slight discoloration that's kind of my bad i think it's the resin material uh and that's kind of changed color in the sunlight i slightly left it all out in the sun so that's not the material going weak or anything that's kind of just what happens to resin in terms of the car's future well there is definitely a lot to be done whether it's big changes to the car design or maybe even starting over fresh. But either way, I'm not giving up one way or another. We are gonna get this car to over 100 miles an hour.